Geographic. If Coconut was under Jazzy's feet, Jazzy would just freeze. Like, she would not move. Jazzy just always wanted to go up and say hi. She knew, there's a little bunny there, I need to be careful. I feel like Coconut might have been annoyed at her sometimes. Who eat the bunny. And Jazzy was like, no, no, play with me. It was pretty cool to see that friendship warm like that. Oh, so we uh, moved about two years ago and we found someone who was selling her property and she couldn't keep Jazzy anymore. This is so yummy. Jazzy was just super kind. She immediately fit right in with us. She let the kids brush her and she'd just follow us around. Yeah, it was instant love for all of us. Good morning. Good morning, sweetie. Because we had a coconut, I started bringing her with me every time I was hanging out with Jazzy. And Jazzy was super interested, like her ears perked up. They just kind of sit together and nuzzle each other. Jazzy was older and gentle and like a really sweet soul. But she was also sassy at times. So I think they probably shared a little bit of that sassiness. He just loved hopping around her whole area and hanging out with her. Thank you, What are you doing? But two months after I discovered friendship, Jazzy had liver failure. She started going downhill pretty quick. Jazzy, Jazz, come on! Jazzy! So I brought the coconut in to see her. She was in so much pain, she wouldn't really interact. But I could tell she was happy to see her little bunny friend. And then we had to say goodbye to Jazzy after that. I've tried to kind of bring her around our little horse. It's not the same. I don't think that's going to be a friendship that's easily replicated. It was one of those special things you come across every once in a while.